Hi, and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick, and today, guys, we're going to be jumping down into the world of XRP, reviewing the price action on the one hour, one day, and one week timeframes, and I'll share my thoughts and opinions on where I think things are going. Now, as I get into today's video, if you do find it useful and informative, smash that like button. I do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, why not go ahead and subscribe? If you tap the bell and select all the notifications, you will not miss another video update. And if you haven't yet joined us in Discord, what are you waiting for? Check it out, linked in the description down below. It's a fantastic community talking crypto 24 7. It's completely free, and I don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there. So, why not go ahead and check it out? Let's waste no more time. Let's keep this one nice and brief and on point. Let's kick things off with the one hour time frame here for XRP. So, as you can see here, we were uh, in the last video actually looking for a move to the downside. Okay. We actually broke that structure. We had a good run upwards, and we can now kind of put this one to bed. So, we're going to go ahead and just clear out some of these older structures that are no longer valid. and we'll go ahead and see where things are heading next on the one hour time frame. Okay, so since the last video, which was a fair while ago, we have actually now got a change of characterization for XRP, right? So we were in a bearish structure over this side, and we've gone ahead and changed that characterization into a bullish structure. Okay, that's obviously, we have some micro changes in places, but for the most part, it's not looking too bad. Okay, so looking okay. Now we can see that we've got good support at the moment on the hourly 200 EMA. And um, so that's holding up and we are finding a little bit of resistance right now on the 50 hourly EMA. Okay, so for now, it's not terrible. We're finding support on equilibrium 200. We've got a rally on past, but there are a few bearish things going on here that do have me a little bit concerned. So the first things first, uh, we do have structures moves on the daily, which we're going to get into in a moment. Um, but we can see here that this um, this wick here is lower than the one beforehand. Okay, so that is a lower high. Now, for the most part, that's not awful. Uh, what is awful is uh, we have higher highs here and higher lows there. That's not a good sign. Okay, we'll keep an eye on that. Um, but for the most part, this little area with this one being higher than this, and we have this pretty deep slip to the downside with this retracement upwards, which fails to break that high. That is my concern because this next move down looks pretty steep. So what we'll do is we'll measure this with our Fibonacci retracement tool. We'll move this over to our rally here. And we can see we came down deeper than 1.236 and we rested on 1.382. Now, from an Elliott Wave theory point of view, it's not an impulsive structure to the downside, but it can be a couple of different things based on that pattern. OK, so the, straight off the bat, we can look at this as W, X, Y, X and Z. OK, that's one scenario. The other scenarios that we can look at is the, the theoretical idea of an expanding or um, contracting diagonals. Now, this particular one would be a contracting based diagonal, um, but I don't think we actually fit the parameters for that. So actually, yeah, looking at it and thinking about it, uh, wave one would have to be the longest. It is not the longest. Wave three would be the longest here, and that's not allowed in a contracting diagonal. So not too bad. Okay, so cool. So I think then that kind of narrows our options down on W, X, Y, X, and Z. Okay, and that's not too bad either. So that gives us some parameters to be working towards. Let's go ahead and move these over to this swing high at the moment. Okay, um, so right in here, I mean, I guess the other option is that we continue to move down and then hit 1.618. But for now, I, I don't think that's the case. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this, right? So our expectations now need to be uh, that we move down into this yellow box area. Uh, essentially, this is going to be 49.210 to 50.289. That would complete a Z wave pattern and we can bounce from there. Okay, so on an hourly chart, it's not awful. Uh, we obviously have the structure change here. This move to the downside is not gonna change that. We are not gonna break that low by the looks of it. So this could look like a pretty strong move for XRP on the one hour time frame for now. Um, so not looking bad. I think we can see further upside here. Let's take this to an hourly um, and we can see that we are still inside our bearish structure. This has not changed. And in fact, we'd have to rally up quite a bit uh, to kind of break out of this structure. So 67.5 cent would be our break of structure point um, and that has not happened. So unfortunately, we are still looking for further downside on our hourly time frame. We're overbought as well, so we can see good slippage to the downside to be seen here, but we are targeting out 35.17 to 39.2. So although 
there's some volatility to be expected on the smaller time frame, like the hourly and four hourly with potential move upwards. Unfortunately, our daily time frame, which is more macro, is showing us that we still have this idea and we're still within the structure of moving down. So for now, that hasn't changed. Unless, of course, um, the bulls can really rally behind those smaller time frames and get price above 67.5. Unfortunately, 35 to uh, 39 cent is where we're heading. And of course, if we do complete this pattern, we bounce right back up towards the 58 cent range and then collapse back down, in my opinion, more towards 16 to 21 cent, uh, all of which would basically be a corrective pattern into a new bear market low for XRP. We don't want this. Uh, this is not ideal, obviously. And there's a lot of things that could be going on behind the scene with Ripple and SEC and all those kind of things that could change the path of XRP, right? There's a lot of fundamental stuff outside of this technicals. Now, obviously, there's a lot of speculation that is built into what you see here in terms of price action. Lots of people are speculating uh, that the 29th is going to be a key day party and IPOs or settlements and, and all sorts of different things are circulating around. However, for the most part, we're not thinking that that's going to be looking overly too positive. A lot of that um, sentiment around that particular date is being built into the price action for XRP at the moment. So just bear that in mind. We haven't seen a huge run and people know this stuff is coming potentially, right? So uh, you would have expected a little bit more of a run upwards uh, to buy the rumor, sell the news, but we're not seeing any of that. So we want to be really cautious here. There's very little demand overall, and we are in a bearish structure on the daily time frame. So just bear that in mind. Uh, hopefully we can break out of it, but if we don't, then unfortunately slippage is likely to occur. Now, as we kind of come up into the weekly time frame, we can see we have got some interesting kind of structures. We hit our C wave target. We're correcting down now. This isn't anything unusual. Um, and of course, we can continue this move to the downside if we needed to. Ultimately, though, if a bear market low is in, then we can predict out between 5.57 and 11.21 in terms of XRP's price action. Uh, this would actually be really conservative. Uh, it's only around 1,800%. So it's not a lot of gains to be made there. But again, this is only based on the lack cluster performance that we saw in 2021 within the structured form of what we see here. This would be a WXY pattern, not an ABC. I just like to use ABCs for ease of communication, but it would basically be WX and Y pattern. Uh, within here. It's a three wave pattern ultimately, and it's very corrective in the way that it is going. This is not to say that we cannot hit 557, have a major correction to the downside, and then continue a run upwards. For example, we could have something like this, hit 557, come back to 140, and then continue a run upwards, right? That's also something that we have to consider as a possible scenario for XRP. But for now, this is currently where it sits. This is kind of where I think things are heading in terms of XRP. But for now, unfortunately, though we've had a bit of a push to the upside on the smaller time frames. The daily is not looking as strong and nor is the weekly. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below, but I think I'm going to wrap this video up right there. If you have found it useful and informative, smash that like button. Uh, like button. I really do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and don't forget to join us down in Discord. Until the next one, have a fantastic day.